Welcome folks to another unboxing video here on the channel. I'm you guys' host, Dakota Morgan, coming to you from Phoenix, Arizona. Now today we're doing a video that really appeals to my childhood, to say the least here. Well, actually, don't they all? But today's video is very, very fun. We have ourselves another piece of the Amber Collection. We have John Raymond Arnold. But... But, 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 I want to say thank you everybody for watching these videos. It means the world to me. Um, sometimes we hit over 100 vi uh, views. Sometimes we hit 2,000. Uh, it blows my mind away. Sometimes we hit 4,000. It absolutely blows me away every time. You guys all rock. So, here we have Amber Collection, John Raymond Arnold. Now, people may like, well, John, his name's Raymond Arnold. No, no, no. It actually is a little nod to the book, because we never hear it say John Raymond Arnold that much in the lore, but in the book, he's John Raymond Arnold, because his character was in the book by Michael Crichton, you know, that the, the movie's based on, and all the jazz like that in Jurassic Park, but this guy here, a superbly cool guy in the book, in the movie, of course, the movie, Samuel Jackson, to say the very least here, but we've now had a figure of this John of Ray. We've never had one before. If we have, mm, I, I actually, I really don't think we have had a Ray figure before. One that looks this good, by the way, too. And it's Amber Collection. So it's a standard Amber Collection box that we have here. You know, the nice opened uh, view in there, too, with the humans. At least we've we've only, I don't think we've done a human figure, uh, actually, for Amber Collection on the channel before. So this is new. Uh, of course, we have, like, we've always done an Amber, though, for the dinosaurs, the gold, the rocks. The little fossil indentations in there too. The Amber Collection. I always have a picture of the dinosaur character from the movie. There's Samuel L. Jackson, John Raymond Arnold. The head computer technician at Jurassic Park, John Raymond Ray Arnold, reluctantly shuts down the park fire system in an effort to undo Dennis Nedry's destruction and dangerous programming. After initiating the reboot, Arnold's decision to leave the circuit breakers gets wildly out of hand. Yeah, um, <laughs> out of hand. Oh, that's a good Easter. <laughs> um, the one thing I'll always say about Amber Collection, you can leave it in the box. Of course, this is by Mattel. He said the little logo down there. And this is by Mattel. Mattel always does a good job where it's like, you can leave it in the box. And this is one you can definitely can. But that's not what we're doing today, folks. We are unboxing. I got to say, thankfully, my wonderful girlfriend got me this at Target. Uh, this is where the only place you guys can get it. They're $29.99. A little bit of a steep price point I'll give if I can get this box open. That would be nice. There we go. There we go. But Ray was actually a character I really, really loved in the in the movie. I and in the book too. Ray was a character I was like, he deserves more recognition. Never got a figure of him or anything like that. And I never understood why. Ray was always one where it was he's cool, he's smart, he always understood stuff. And in the books, he actually helped build Disney. Which is interesting to say the least. He was a guy who actually helped build the Walt Disney World. Uh, oh, look at that. We have here a little bit of a thing. I think I can just loop-de-loop -loop that right there. I, I just love how they gave me computers. That's awesome. And they went all out. Oh, all right. We're going to get it out of here. The best part is the... Uh, let's be real here. Let's be real. Apparently, too, uh, from behind the scenes, Ray was actually supposed to have a really cool death scene in the movie, but we never got a chance to see it. Because of the hurricane that hit when they were filming during hurricane scenes in Hawaii. So Samuel Jackson had to leave and he came back. Oh shoot, we're going to have to lower the camera for you guys here. Dee dee dee, cinematography, dee dee dee. Oh, this is awesome, folks. Not alone the mold. The glasses are a little bit higher than I would like. Oh, there we go. Fixed. So we have Ray, who looks like young Samuel Jackson. This is pretty, pretty, so I'm going to make sure I get it in the light there. Pretty, pretty sweet stuff here. We have a mold. That's awesome. I mean, look at the detail on that. On the logo right there on the pocket, you know. It's got his little lab coat on. It's got his shirt, the tie, which is only halfway connected to the figure. It's like pretty loose. You can mend it too. The jacket's very, very flimsy, as you can tell, all the way up here to the shoulders. We have very, very cool articulation, but we'll start here on the paint job. The paint job, look at this paint here. Awesome, awesome stuff here for the paint, the pants, the boots, or I guess you would say shoes, the shirt, the head paint sculpt. Even that little gold on the glasses is awesome, to say the least here. Skin collation, uh, the hair, all this jazz here. This is sweet. Very, very, very sweet of a figure. Of course... 
the mold straight out of the movie and I can just take him out of the package and he just stands up like that. Something really, really cool to see. You know, we have very, very cool articulation. You can move the head in different directions. Nah, 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 nah. Yeah, we have the arms with the elbows. Ba -ba -da. The hands do move themselves. We have very cool articulation in the legs with the feet. Oh, they can turn so the hand. Oh, look at that. Look at that. That's actually kind of dope. Um, we have all that jazz on here. And of course, if you want to, you can switch out his hands. Although I kind of like the ones that are in there right now. Uh, actually, we have the headset first. A little kind of um, thinner kind of plastic sort of headpiece on here. But he always had one in the movie. There we go. Ray. Gaming before it was cool. Take a look at the desktop here. Look at the details straight from the monitor of the movie. Look at that. Insane. Insane. And then, of course, it looks like, and it got detail on the desktop on the back. Look at all that jazz here. Keyboard itself. Of course, there's a hollow in there, but the Zen as well. If you want to switch out his hands, I guess for him to hold stuff, maybe to do some typing, it looks like as well, too. Which is a pretty cool pose thing on there. Uh, of course, you're going to have to figure out something to put his uh, desktop on. And, of course, the legendary prop itself. The arm. Look at that jazz. <laughs> first we time, I was going to say, for, well, first time we have blood on a human figure from Mattel 2. Ah, oh, look at that. That is awesome. You can have, like, an Ellie, which is coming out later this year with this. Oh, that's going to be sweet. Very stern looking Arnold himself there, too. Oh my god, legendary man himself, awesome character in book and movie, John Raymond Arnold, brought to life, finally, it only took 30-something years. Thank you everybody for tuning in to this episode, make sure you guys like the video if you did enjoy it. Um, I'm on Twitter at Dakota Morgan 3 Twitch, CodaRex97, and Instagram at Dakota underscore Morgan 97. You guys all rock, be sure to subscribe for more toy unboxings, more dinosaur videos, science, history, uh, video games podcast all the jazz like that basically if you're a nerd welcome home thanks everybody and remember folks stay creative everyone